Hello and welcome to the cave. Today I want to teach you how to parse and what that means and how to use combat metrics to interpret your parse. So for starters, parsing just means doing DPS on a trial dummy that you might have in your house to find out what number of DPS you're doing and this is an indicator of how much DPS that you can do in a trial as well. There's more interesting things going on in a trial but it's a good starting point and a lot of people that are raiding want to see what you're parsing to know if you're ready for a certain trial and the reason for that is there might be uh, different things that you need to do X amount of damage in a certain amount of time and if you haven't hit certain DPS thresholds uh, you're just not going to clear some of those mechanics. So let's talk about where you're going to parse. If you don't have combat metrics, you're going to need combat metrics. You can look at a video in the description that I will link to that will show you how to use minion to install add-ons such as combat metrics. Second thing you're going to need is a house with the iron Atronach dummy. So if you go to the guild and you're going to wind up at home, so you scroll over to roster, you sort by rank and I will be right there at the top. You right click on my name and if you're not me, you'll see visit primary residence. So that's where you're going to want to go to see um, all of the trial parse dummies that we have. So if you come in, it's the, the one from elsewhere, and you go through this right portal. And you're going to wind up where I have all my crafting stations, transmutes, some of these armory stations, and other uh, assistants. And then what we really need is the Iron Atronach trial dummy and we're going to need this ethereal well. So here's what we do with the ethereal well. You see how I have 48% of my um, ultimate stacked up right now? We use the ethereal well and it will restore magicka, health, stamina, and your ultimate. So now I have 500 ultimate points so that I can go in and start with my ultimate pretty ready to go. Second thing we need is this iron atronach. So what you do is you just hit it and you beat it up like you would anything in any other um, instance or dungeon or trial and what we're going to want to do is you notice how I started it and I wasn't really ready yet so if you ever need to reset for any reason you press F5 and it just resets the dummy and you can go at it again um, this ethereal well will restore your ultimate if you've already popped that and get you back to full resources so what do we need to do? This trial atronach will give you a lot of trial buffs. There's different ones and more of them potentially that you'll see in a real trial with good tanks healers and maybe some support DPS. But this will give you most of the stuff that you're going to want in a trial environment. It will also give you the shards. You probably saw that already. It'll give you shards and you can use those to restore some resources. So the other thing about this is you need to just go and finish. You can't get tired and say, oh, my fingers hurt. If you're tired after doing this, you're going to be way more tired doing a trial where you might have to do multiple attempts or you might have multiple bosses. Um, and then the other thing about that is if you're out of resources, start doing some heavy attacks and finish some parse. We need to see some of that information to get you into some of the... Um, harder trials and all of that so go in give it your best and that includes making sure that you're putting your best gear forward making sure that you have your food buff and making sure that you're using potions there is an alchemy station right over here to make some more potions and some other stations to make all of the stuff that you might need to do to practice your parse so right now i'm not going to teach how to improve your parse we're just going to show how to do it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you to pre-buff and that means to hit a bunch of the stuff that you're going to need to do to do ready, like to do very well, like I'm going to pre-buff my pets. And then the other thing is just finish. So I'm going to fast forward through it so you don't have to watch the whole thing.
Alright, so there we go. I just finished the parse. I got 110k on that parse, and I can tell that because it does drop the results into the chat. And if you've got combat metrics, you'll also have this screen up here where it shows you what you're doing. So how do we take a deeper dive into the combat metrics, and what do we do with that information? So the first thing, and by the way, you can slot this to a... You can go to controls, and you can find the combat metrics... Uh, part of your controls and bind it to a button so that you can pull up the screen or you can use slash commands I'm a big fan of slash commands. So you can hit slash CMX and now we'll bring up this screen So this screen shows you a bunch of information by the way the default screen will be this one not the other one but um, This will show you a bunch of information about your parse. So it'll have uh, Here's your overall damage per second Here's all the abilities and how much of your percentage of your damage they are. And here's a bunch of information about your build, how much stamina you have, stuff like that. And here's uh, some buffs. So you can, if you're parsing on like a Zenkosh, you want to know what's my uptime on my buffs and debuffs. So you can look at that kind of stuff here and here to make sure that you have high uptime on things like Zens <laughs> or Elkosh, which is important for a Zenkosh. So that's one way that you can look for something that's not necessarily just pure damage, but also uptimes. The other screen that we really want to focus on is info screen. You can see your CP over here, uh, your gear with the trait and enchantment. You can see your abilities and you can see your boon, food and potions, which is just everything about your build, right? So then the other thing that you're going to look at, one of the important things about how well you do in uh, a parse is looking at your light attacks. So what you're looking at for is uh, large amounts, no misses, preferably no misses, but I have one here, oh well. <laughs> um, but point anything over like 0 0.7, 0 0.08, 0 0.07, anything over there is starting to get into good enough numbers to do decent amounts of DPS, but your light attacks are important. You're usually trying to do Light attack ability, light attack ability. And I make that gesture because I have an MMO mouse. So I've got my abilities on my right hand. So I light attack ability, light attack ab ab ability. And then so I just go through it like that. So it's kind of like a swing beat, bop, 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 bop. So that's how you're going to want to get your damage up is to get that light attack in there so that you're adding in your enchantments and that kind of thing from your weapons. So these are the two pages that we need. What do we do with them? So first thing you're going to need to do is make sure that you go to your controls and you scroll down to its uh, UI, inter user interface. So the second option under user interface is take screenshot. So I have that saved to F11. So let's bring up CMX. I go to that first page. I hit, uh, I hit F11 and it's going to screenshot that. And now I go to the other page, the info page, and I hit F11, and it's going to screenshot that. Okay, so now I've got my two screenshots you need, and you can see that it's got my name at the bottom, so that's how you know it was me and when it was done. So I'm going to go over to my documents in my file browser, and under Elder Scrolls Online Live, you can see all the information that's stored for Elder Scrolls, and we've got the screenshots folder, so you can see the two new screenshots I did. So if we open them, and if you're in Windows, it'll open it in the photos by default, and you can click on edits, and this is where we're going to crop it, because if you post this to a raid leader, they don't need to see your chat and everything, they just need to see this screen right here. And that's going to show you all the information, nice and neat, so I'm just going to save that. And now that is saved over it, and now I can go to the other one, and I'm going to do the same thing. And we're going to shrink that. Boop. Nice little crop. Oop, that felt like a really good boop. All right, so now we save. And we have our nice cropped images. And you can rename it so you can see I've had some other parses. And I've saved that information. So you can just double click on the name nice and slow. And I can save this as like Puggles 110k parse. I mean, I already have one of those, so it won't let me name it that. So... Um, you can rename it so it's nice and easy and find the information later. What do we do with it? We're going to need to go to Discord. And Discord's like, if you look through my Discord, there's this clears and parse. That's where you post that. So what you're going to want to do is take both of those and post them in the same message so that when they pop up, you can just see them side by side. And somebody can say, oh, there's your trial 
and there's your information. So this is what we use to do tags and then people will click on you and add the correct tags. I have 120k tags because that is my better parse. So this parse is a little lower than I would have liked. Um, that's okay, it's all about improving and consistency. So that's something where if you want to get better, you'll start parsing routinely. You'll start parsing at least once a day. So get out there, get your parse, post it to us so that we can see what it is, give you tags, get you into some trials. That's what you're going to want to give to your raid lead. So happy trial hunting out there. See you on the next video where I'll explain how to use Pithkas to show other raid leads what clears you have.